Welcome back, this is Mike from Digital Offensive and you're watching CTF Minute. This is where I go over new tools and techniques, not only for CTFs, but for your everyday pen testing. Today we're talking about CertUtil. CertUtil is a unique tool that comes in the Windows operating systems. And you can find CertUtil in Windows 7 and newer. So from Windows 7 and up, you'll find CertUtil already installed as part of the operating system. This goes not only for desktops, but also for servers. This tool is great. It was originally created to manage certificates. It was a part of, uh, part of the certificate services within Windows. Now, why is that important to you for CTFs and pen testing? Let's get into that now. CertUtil is unique in the sense that it will allow you to download files to the, op to the machine that you're currently on. Now, why do you need this? Let's say for some reason you can't use FTP, TFTP, um, you don't have a uh, Metasploit shell on there, interpreter shell on there that allow you to transfer files. You need a way to get additional files on that machine. And that machine is restricted. You can't get any other tools on there, no other ways for communication. Let's say B, uh, Bitsmit admin is disabled as well. What else can you do? Well, there's CertUtil. Now, CertUtil is not covered in the OCP. However, in my OCP exam, as well as my labs, I use CertUtil greatly. Um, I would say it probably worked on about 95% of the boxes that I compromised, as long as they're newer boxes. Remember, this is not available in Windows XP and will not work in Windows XP. But our new Windows boxes, this is enabled. Now, this tool is great because it's already part of the operating system, which means that a lot of the antiviruses and other tools out there won't automatically detect this as malicious, depending on what you do. Now, we're going to go with some simple usage of CertUtil. There's a lot of advanced features as with CertUtil as well, such as encoding your payloads, um, decrypting your payloads, things like that. We're not going to get into that today. Today, I'm just going to show you the most simplistic usage of CertUtil for CTFs and pen testing. And that's to download your file so you can execute it on the shell you have. So let's jump right into this. We're gonna jump over to my Windows 10 machine here. Um, you can go out and get MS Edge Windows 10 from Microsoft for free of charge. You can run in your virtual environments. So what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to use our, actually first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a directory. So let's just CD. And we're gonna go right to the C drive. We're gonna do make directory temp. I like to have a directory to work out of. I put all my files in it. I kind of keep the name similar to normal Windows um, folders. And I do that on a lot of CTS to hide my tools in there so other people are not seeing them. Uh, if you're a real new about it, you won't quickly identify that the TMP is anything other than uh, a temp directory that maybe a hacker is hiding their tools in, or maybe I'll go even deeper uh, to try to hide my tools just so people don't stumble upon them. But either way, I digress. Let's jump right into this. So we have our directory temp. Let's cd into our temp directory here. And, all right. So we're going to use certutil. And basically, we're going to run this command. We're going to use certutil url cache split dash f, the URL we want to download, and then the file we want to output to. So in this case here, certutil is the uh, program we're using. URL cache is telling that tool to use that URL to update its cache with this URL. Dash split's gonna output the file for us or tell it to save the file. Dash F is forcing it to update for us to do that. For more information on these actual syntaxes and the exact meaning, I kind of give you a high level what it means. Check out Microsoft's official write-up and I'll link it below in the description. <clears throat> but either way, let's run this command. So you can see basically it says online. That means the server responded and is able to download it. So if we do a DRR in this directory now, we can see now it has downloaded our fgdump.exe and then we can run fgdump.exe and let's see here. So it's starting the dump. So basically fgdump.exe would just output the passwords. So what's great about this tool? Let's say you're very restricted. You don't have a way to download files. You can use built-in functionality within Windows to download tools, such as using CertUtil to download any other malicious files you need from your remote server, um, not only for CTS, but also for real life pen testing. This is a great tool to use. We use a lot of red team engagements along with RegServe32. So if you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, click the bell to be notified, and I'll see you in the next CTF minute. Have a good day.